Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I have been a professional family systems therapist for 32 years, and this is one of a whole series of videos that I want to make in order to pass on to people like you what I've learned in those three plus decades. Uh, this video is meant to raise your awareness of a popular phrase that many people don't really stop to consider what it means. Let me ask you, have you heard recently, or have you thought, or have you said, oh, I'm in a lot of pain, or he or she is feeling a lot of pain right now? Do you recall saying that, or thinking it, or feeling it, or observing that? What exactly is inner pain? Uh, see how you feel about this proposal. Inner pain is composed of one or more uncomfortable, normal emotions. Emotions, as you know, are feelings that our mind, body, spirit generates in response to the environment. We can't help them, help having them, we can use them. Well, what kind of feelings constitute, quote, inner pain? Probably one of the biggest is shame. Shame, in my opinion, is the feeling that I'm no good, I'm stupid, I'm ugly, I'm dumb, I'm inept, I'm clumsy. No one want to love me. No one likes me. I'm bad. That's shame, also known as low self-esteem. You ever felt that? You know people who struggle with that feeling? It's epidemic in our culture. A related painful feeling is guilt. Guilt is the normal feeling that people feel automatically when they conclude they have broken a rule, they've done something wrong. Okay, our lives are full of inherited rules. Don't, shouldn't, can't, must not, ought not, should, must, etc. Anytime we break a rule, depending on how important the rule is to us and other people, we feel the normal response of guilt. Guilt and shame often feel the same, but they're different. They have different sources and can be reduced differently. A third common feeling, think when the last time you felt this one, is disappointment. Oh, I was so hoping that something would happen or not happen, but it did or didn't. Disappointment feels bad, doesn't it? Another universal feeling that healthy people have is sadness. It can be mild to massive. Many people confuse sadness, excessive sadness, with depression. Often, in my experience as a therapist, Chronic depression is really unfinished grief. How about this as another unpleasant feeling that can constitute inner pain? The feeling of mental confusion or uncertainty or doubt, including self-doubt and even disorientation. Those are feelings that happen when you don't know where you are, you don't know who you are, you don't know what your life is about, you don't know where you're going, Things don't make sense right now. Everything is chaotic and strange. That feels pretty lousy, doesn't it? That, if prolonged, can add to or increase inner pain. A big one, think of the last time you had this one, is on a spectrum usually, anxiety to fear to terror. Those are three levels of the same emotion. Very primitive, very useful for guarding our own survival. That's the purpose of fear. Fear is useful. All your feelings are useful. So that can be part of inner pain. So anxiety, fear, dread, or terror. How about the feeling of despair? Have you ever felt that? Have you ever felt you faced some major prop and felt there's I have no hope. 
there's no way I can escape or avoid future pain or disaster or cataclysm or something, crisis. I can't escape. I have no hope. How about the feeling of, that some people call emptiness? Emptiness occurs when people have no sense of life purpose. They wake up in the morning and they say, what am I going to do? What does it matter? I don't know. I'm, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what to do. I'm not here on earth to do anything special. I'm just blah. Do you categorize that as an unpleasant feeling that can be part of inner pain? How about the terrible feeling of loneliness? Feeling like I'm all alone. I'm isolated. I'm alienated. I'm, I'm not, I have no bonds. I have no connections. There's no one who knows me or cares about me. I don't care about anybody else. I'm all alone. I'm abandoned. I'm an orphan. Another painful emotion that can be part of inner pain is regret. Can you remember thinking recently, ah, if only I had blah, blah, blah. Thinking back on actions you didn't take or you wish you hadn't taken can be painful, especially if you keep rehearsing that in your mind over and over and over again, which is called a compulsion uh, or obsession, rather. Another one uh, that brings great pain to most socially attached people is rejection. I want to be your friend. You want nothing to do with me. You tell me, get lost, get out of my life. I'm not interested in you. I don't care about you. Don't bother me. You know what that feels like? Especially to children. Major pain. Major pain. Hurt. The last pain that I want to quickly insert here is the normal human response of frustration. Frustration, as you probably know, is a normal automatic response that we people have when we have an important need. Needs are discomforts. We feel frustration when we cannot find a way to fill a current important need. I need to get rid of this toothache, but I can't get to the dentist for seven days. Ah! frustration. So, my point here is this. The next time you say, oh, I'm in a lot of pain, or you hear someone say that, think for a minute what's, quote, under the hood. What does that stand for? One or more of these normal, automatic human feelings. Shame, guilt, disappointment, sadness or grief, depression, confusion, uncertainty, disorientation, anxiety, fear or terror, despair, emptiness, loneliness, regret, rejection, and or frustration. In one way, that's like a painter's palette, all those rich emotions that nature has given us. And those particular emotions contrasted with the full range of emotions are unpleasant to sometimes excruciating or agonizing. Put them all together, what do you get? Inner pain. Many of these are particularly common among people who are survivors of childhood abuse, abandonment, and neglect. I am such a person. Many millions of other people are the same. We are especially prone to guilt, shame, distrust, confusion, doubt, fear, and reality distortion. So what? Why should you uh, spend time microanalyzing what is inner pain? Here's the reason. If you say, I'm, inner, I'm having a lot of pain, what does that mean? Well, I am feeling shame in some others. Okay, what that means is, I have to find a way to convert shame into self-respect and self-love. That's what I need to do. How about guilt? Part of my inner pain is guilt. Significant guilt about so-and-so, whatever it might be. I burped at my uh, grandmother's birthday dinner. Uh, uh, I did something wrong and bad. 
What does, if you say, I'm feeling guilt, what does that mean? It means you ought to review what causes guilt and are the rules that someone in you thinks you're breaking, are they legitimate or have you inherited them from somebody else and they don't actually apply to you anymore? Find out what you're feeling guilty about. One last example, if you microanalyze inner pain and you say, well, part of what I'm feeling is fear. I'm, somebody in me, one of my subcells is really scared that something or other, that you're going to abandon me, that I'm going to lose my job, that uh, I can't afford my car payment, whatever. Someone in me is really scared. Okay, what does that mean? Then what is the problem and what are my options for solving the problem? See what I'm trying to say is, once you identify the feeling, the feeling is normal, it's not good or bad, it's like a signpost that says, hey, you need to do something. All feelings are useful. So what I'm trying to illustrate is, look below the surface level of inner pain, find out the components that are causing the inner pain, and then see what they're pointing to and what you need. I just covered a lot of ground real quickly. Pause and breathe and just notice what you're thinking and feeling. Recall the last time you felt, quote, inner pain. Just imagine giving yourself the reflex saying, wait a minute, what are the emotions that comprise my inner pain? Imagine trying that. You think you could do that? It's a new habit. Might take a little work to establish. Um, here are a couple of things that can help you do this if you choose uh, this way of improving your life. The first major improvement is to take the uh, lesson one in my ad-free educational website course, lesson one. It's a series of assignments that will help you understand in your personality, your subcells, and how to improve your personality, how you can harmonize your personality under the leadership of your true self. Here is the link to that step-by-step -step free website course. The second thing you can do uh, is improve your awareness. Here is a link on YouTube to a very simple, powerful exercise that you can learn to practice that will help you identify what am I feeling right now okay the third suggestion I would have in this video is as you experiment experiment with this and if you find it useful teach any young people in your life to learn what inner pain is and encourage them to be able to identify and name their feelings and learn what the feelings need. Um, I hope you have found this video informative and thought-provoking. I appreciate your watching. Uh, know that I have over 150 similar self-improvement videos in YouTube. They all relate to the free self-improvement course at sfhelp.org. Thanks for watching.